Hey guys, so this is the KZ Angelios Libra, a pair of dynamic driver in your monitors that are surprisingly good and surprisingly affordable. Now the version I have with me is the high resolution version, which will cost you at around 1500 rupees or less. And then you have another even more affordable version, which is the balanced version, which will come for around 1300 rupees or so. So let me tell you what makes this pair such a good investment, especially for beginner audiophiles or someone who's just getting into the world of in your monitors monitors a great starting point. Starting off with the unboxing, so as you can see it comes in a really tiny packaging, super eco-friendly, nothing fancy at all. Sliding off the outer cover, we get the warranty card. You get three pairs of silicon ear tips of various sizes. You get the silver plated cable that has two pin connectors on one end. Now the version I have comes with an inline microphone with a multifunction control button and it ends in a 3.5 millimeter L-shaped audio jack. And of course you get the KZ Libra in your monitors themselves. Now as for the specs of the KZ Libra, so these are dynamic driver in-ear monitors. So each of these in-ear monitors pack a single dynamic driver and it's got an impedance of 25 ohms. So once again, these are low impedance in-ear monitors. But as always, if you want to get the best audio quality possible, I always suggest that you do invest in a portable DAC, nothing too expensive or fancy, just something that can make sure that these can perform to their full potential and you get the best audio quality that these can produce. And as always, the one that I personally use Use will be linked in the description below. Now, speaking of the build quality of these in-ear monitors, so it's a mix of resin and metal. It's got a unique look. There weren't any jagged edges or quality issues that I found. However, the feel of these are kind of cheap and really plasticky, though I wouldn't complain for their price range. Then again, I guess they could have gone all metal and that would have given a more premium feel to it. But then again, I'm not complaining. Now, as for the comfort or the ergonomics, it was pretty good because these are super light on the ears. There was zero ear fatigue, even for long listening sessions. There was no part that was piercing into my ears. So overall, very comfortable experience. Now, the part that's resin is actually totally transparent. So you can actually see the innards of the in-ear monitor and you can actually see the driver inside, which in my opinion is pretty cool. All right, now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the main criteria, which is the audio quality. Now, you guys know that I judge these in-ear monitors based on how they produce the three major frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. The highs are the treble response, where the really sharp sounding instruments are, the mids, where the vocals are, and the low end or the bass response. All right, starting off with the highs or the treble response. So the highs are sufficiently sharp, packing in an acceptable amount of detail. Instruments that fell into the higher frequency range are well spaced out and distinctly audible, and they also don't overlap or interfere with the vocal. So there wasn't any clutter. Now, although I wouldn't call this pair to be particularly sibilant, but depending on the track, and the volume level, sometimes the treble did tend to get a bit harsh and that would hamper your long listening sessions. But I found that it's not something unbearable and if you keep the volume at a moderate level, then it's good for long listening sessions as well. So while the highs on the KZ Libra are not the richest that I've heard, but they pack enough detail and clarity to get the job done. And for beginners, it's a very safe bet. Next up, we have the mids, where the vocals are. Now, vocals, while distinct, packing in a lot of sharpness and clarity, however, they lacked warmth and depth. Just like the treble, at higher volumes, the vocals tend to sound a bit shouty, but that can be mitigated by keeping the volume level to around 80%. What I would have wanted from the vocals, especially male vocals, is a bit more warmth and that would have added more depth and that would maintain that natural tonality in the male vocals. Now, instruments in the mid-frequency range sound clean and sharp and pack a lot of clarity and they're also well spaced out even with the vocals, so there's no clutter. However, stringed instruments, although packing a lot of sharpness and clarity, they lack a bit of warmth and consequently, that means that they don't sound as rich. I mean, there is a difference between having a lot of sharpness and sounding rich overall. So I'd give the vocals or the mid frequencies a three out of five. But again, considering their incredibly affordable price tag, I could safely recommend these to beginners. And finally, we get to the low end or the bass response. Now, for the most part, the low end is modest. Now these are evidently mid bass heavy. So you do get a sufficient amount of that mid bass slam. You get the thump and the kick from the low end. However, I wouldn't call this pair a bass heavy pair of in-ear monitors. So they do a decent job, actually a more than impressive job at complementing the track you're listening to with round, undistorted bass that overall makes it immersive and enjoyable. But 
base heads stay away but don't get me wrong i'm not saying the bass is weak it's just that for a bass head or someone who enjoys a v sound signature it might be a disappointment but for everyone else especially beginners the bass response is more than sufficient and if you slap on an eq like the rock preset the low end gets deeper and becomes much more powerful and the overall sound signature sounds much more immersive now as for the sound stage on the kz libra i would say it is modest it is okay and i honestly wouldn't recommend this to a gamer because for gamers you need a far wider sound stage to really comprehend where gunshots and footsteps are coming from in summary for their incredibly affordable price tag and the option to get a balanced version or a high resolution version the case of libra is a no brainer for a beginner audiophile or someone who's getting into in ear monitors because ultimately what you get is a very comfortable pair of in-ear monitors that have enough detail, clarity and low end to make any music or track that you're going to listen to enjoyable and immersive. Like I said, if you slap an EQ on this, it's going to sound more powerful than it actually seems. So there you have it guys, that was my in-depth and unbiased review of the KZ Angelios Libra in your monitors, the high resolution version. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, do let me know. As always, the link to this and many other in-ear monitors will be in the description below. I would just request you to use those links to make your purchase. It will never cost you anything extra. But as always, you guys will be helping me run this channel and I can produce more such high quality and helpful content just for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video and as always, I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.